Well, this was a clash between two rivals in the fight for Liga and survival, with host Dijon hoping to climb above Khan side, sitting a place and a point above them in 16. The Stade Gaston Gerard resembled a winter wonderland as the snow in eastern France fell heavily. Not the ideal conditions for football or visibility. The orange ball was fortunately at hand as Dijon aimed to snap a three-match losing streak in all competitions. He started at breakneck speed to try and catch the Norman visitors cold. Luis Dion finding strike partner Julien Tavares. With an excellent save from Remy Vacutra kept the scores blank. Patrice Grand knows his side still have a game in hand over their rivals, but just five points from a possible 36 on the road. Mekon needed to improve their away form. Instead, it was the industrial Dione who dug out a cross for the onrushing Mehdi Abed. Third goal of the season and a first since mid-December for the well-travelled Algerian international. Dione working hard as ever. And Abed getting a little luck with the finish. Deflected over Remy Vekutre. Well, the fans keep it warm as best they could. Helped by an opening goal just five minutes before half-time. Yet Korn could and should have been level. Ivan Santini has cooled since scoring six in a five-match sequence during December and January. Somehow allowing Baptiste René to keep a clean sheet for now. Santini had scored a brace in the reverse fixture that ended 3-3 at the Stade Michel Dornano. The weather making it unlikely to see such a goal glut. Wearing white, Khan appeared to struggle to see each other with the red-hot Dijon side far more on it. With just four minutes remaining, the home side made sure that there was no doubt where the three points were going. Dione deservedly getting himself on the score sheet, a seventh of the season, a first of 2017, a first at home since September. Well, he scored 11 last campaign to help earn Dijon their place in Ligue 1. Before the end, René earned his seventh clean sheet of the season with an absolute spectacular double save. It's the first in four games since the home draw with Lille. Well, the snow kept falling as can try to give themselves some late hope. Well, this time an excellent save and a bit of luck as Steed Malbronk failed to break the net. The tight nature of the bottom half of the table means Dijon are up to 12th, but still just two points from Khan, who are 18th.